round in which Soto reassumed functional control of the fight. Harold, how do you have it through six? Uh, okay, Jim, five rounds to one, 59-54, Umberto Soto. Jim, Bobby Pacquiao bleeding badly from a cut over his right eye. Therefore, anything that Umberto Soto throws with his left hand, Bobby Pacquiao usually doesn't see because the blood is going into his right eye. If Soto throws left hooks, left jabs, just like that, he lands him because Pacquiao, you know, has that blood coming into the eye. Five to one, Umberto Soto. I have uh, blood on my bout sheet, but it hasn't yet reached my shirt. Well, then I'm ahead of you. Because my shirt is all Bobby Pacquiao up. And look at the guts of Pacquiao as he continues yeah, to fight he's, back he's, willfully. Yeah, he's trying to win this fight still. And he's doing very well, in particular, his, when he jabs with his right jab and his right hook. Seems to be both very effective. I guess when you've lived in a card box as a child, when you have cigarettes on the so that you can eat, it's maybe not as daunting to get through a cut in a fight as for no. some more comforted specimens. And when you have a brother making the kind of money that his brother's making and seeing his brother receive the Fight of the Year award last night, all of that is very you know, encouraging. Well, certainly Manny's making a lot of money. How much is he keeping is an interesting question at this point. Right hand by Soto and Pacquiao's badly hurt. And this may be the end. Two, four, five, six. That was a devastating seven, shot. The body eight. blow has and ended he's not the fight. Up. Yeah, the this right is hand done. Is That's the way to finish a fight. A brave, brave performance by Pacquiao. Just outclassed by a world class. Fighter. A devastating finish by Soto, and exactly the kind of statement he was looking to make in the 130-pound weight class. Very impressive. Akiao has finally gotten up onto a stool. But there's every suggestion that standing would still be a challenge at this point. Soto closed the show, landing 11 of 20 power shots in that round. And Manny Pacquiao, as you can see, momentarily in grief at his brother's loss. But that's nothing new. That's the 13th time that Bobby Pacquiao has lost a prize fight. Take a look at the replay, Emmanuel, and talk about the finish. Right here, you're saying it was a simple sneak right hand lead through the center. Just, just simple right, didn't even throw a left. And once he got him hurt, he lined him up and dug a hard right left hook to the ribs. But he was already. Now the left hook to the ribs right here. And it hurts because he didn't even see it. He was just looking for another punch to the head. That first left hook to the rib cage, a perfect shot. You may remember Oscar De La Hoya turning around like a fish on the canvas after Bernard Hopkins hit him right in the liver with a left hook. And Zab Judah better be careful tonight because he's got a guy that likes That's to do that Miguel same Cotto's thing. That's Miguel Cotto's money punch. And there it is again, the finishing blow with the left hook to the body by Umberto Soto. Set up by a classic straight right hand shot. And let's go to Michael Buffer to tell us the time at which it took place. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Gary Rosato reads the count of 10. The official time, one minute, 48 seconds, round number seven. The winner by knockout victory, Umberto Zorita Soto. The public has to get behind Soto if he's gonna get big fights. He's too dangerous and not well known enough to be an obvious choice for the bigger names in the 130 pound weight class. But will Manny Pacquiao want to fight him now to avenge his brother's loss? Final copy box numbers in the fight. Soto landing 177 out of 384, throwing 50 less than Bobby, landing 69 more, much higher connect percentage. Bobby Pacquiao had his moments, landing some dangerous right hands, 